This guy wants to talk to me. Oh, it's you. I hear you wrapped up in some kind of big fight. Be glad to help. I've felt firsthand how tough you can be, after all. Okay. <laughs> and I'm not just hoping I can bash some skulls in, if that's what you're thinking. Though I'm definitely looking forward to it. <laughs> oh, you guys are late. So how many of them are there on the map? They're just scattered around. How will I find them? But anyway, here's the thing I wasn't really thinking about, but it's where one of the subquests is hiding. It's in the batting cages. Are they gonna come in here? Guys, you're not supposed to be in here. This is very rude. Very rude. Take a rest on that broken thing now. There you go. Hey there. God damn. That was a very bench oriented fight. Look at them cheering, they're so psyched. An ambush specialist. I'm getting messages. Watch out, Kiryu. There's yet another guy gunning for you. They call him Stealthy Kurosawa. And just as his name implies, his specialty is ambushing. He's over by Senryo Avenue right now. Oh, he, he probably won't recognize you at first. What? He won't recognize me? So he specializes in ambushing people, but he won't know what I look like, and I know where he is already. What the fuck? <laughs> That's completely backwards. Anyway, I gotta... It's time to practice the batting cage minigame. Trying to figure out how to do... Oh, I should not have done the... Oh god. I'm really bad at this. But I've gotta get good, because I gotta... Red, I gotta get- I gotta do well enough that the quest, subquest triggers. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, it's just left stick and X, right? Yeah. I only have one bat to pick from? Oh my god. Can't even do the other ones. Score three or more runs in ten pitches to clear. In this course, you'll face- you'll face only fastballs. Oh boy. I don't even remember how to play. Why did I- why did I click on challenge mode? Why did I do this? Oh boy. That does not work how I thought it would. Triple. When am I supposed to time it? Foul? That's too early. Am I supposed to time it with the circle going down? Ah! Ignore the entire 3D world around me and just look at the little tiny screen and time it based on that. That's all I do. I just highlight the... Oh god, I moved it. All I do is highlight it and click on it perfectly like I'm playing a rhythm game. Oh, well this is easy then. Oh my god. I had to do three of these? Clear. Seven out of three. I'm gonna turn that down on my end of things, on my headphones. That was... That, that, uh, that impact sounds a bit loud. There we go. Oopsie. Okay, so what is the requirement for this actual quest? You need to clear the first three beginner batting challenges. Oh. Oh. That's easy. Okay, I thought I had to, like, progress through the whole system. That's cool that I don't have to overinvest in this entire metagame. But also, from what I can remember from the previous games, this version of the batting cage game is way more manageable. It's, like, not a big deal. Sorry about that. Score three or more runs and ten pitches to clear. You'll face fastballs and curveballs. I don't know what a curveball is. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I mean, I kind of know what a curveball is. I mean, I don't really know what a curveball means in this game mechanically. Oh, God. Okay, that's a curveball. It'll, it'll move. Ah. Oh, that's hard. I have to time the swing still, while also adjusting the fact this thing's moving. Huh. 
Ah, it's, that's a lot of coordination. Okay. That's so much harder than a fastball. God damn. I almost need a second person on the controller to press X for me. Where fastballs are such a joke. Oh, oh then, then I do that. Congrats. Uh, oh, almost. Yeah, timing, timing it on its own is not hard. It's chasing it that's hard. Oh, it looks like I don't have to be that close, though. That was not a good silhouette match. There we go. Yeah, I was a little worried about spending the rest of the afternoon grinding through that entire <laughs> progression screen. There's so many tiers of challenges. I imagine they'll get harder. That's like the point. Score five or more pitches to clear. Oh, uh, curveballs and sinkers. So I need to do 50% success and none of them are going to be fastballs. This is going to take some practice. This is going to take some practice. This is going to take some practice right now. No, oh, it's not a... That's not a home ball. That's not a home run. Oh, you're... Yeah, okay, so the, the cursor does not have to be that close. Ah. Nah, damn it. That was way early. God, ah! My brain! No, too early. Oh, my poor brain. Ah, oh, I'm hitting him. Not well enough. Come on, last three in a row. That's the only way I can win. Nope, that's not one. It didn't make the right sound. Hard. It's hard. <laughs> Come on, we can do this. I believe in us. We're making progress. The music, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I kind of just guessed algorithmically. They seem to be going down usually. Oh my god. I'm getting all of them. Yeah, if it's off screen, it's probably gonna go diagonally down by one. No! Wow, that was a... that was harsh. No. I shouldn't have guessed. I should have gone to the middle and tried to adjust. Ah. Well, I've already won, but this is a lot of mess-ups. Ah. Incidentally, I have not swung a bat at a baseball for like 15 years. <laughs> Bronze plate. Why'd they give me a plate? Why does everyone give plates? Is this part of pachinko culture where they give you... It is part of pachinko culture, isn't it? Where they give you nonsensical items to then trade off at the vendor. Orator. Pump the brakes, pal. Hmm? I'm talking to you. Sorry for breaking your stride like that, man. I'm Bob Dandy Johnson, a pitcher from the American Major Leagues. You're a pro, huh? Living the American dream. This here's my wife. Jamie. 
Isn't she just the cutest little uh, barn burner you ever seen? What's, what is a barn burner? <laughs> Hang on a minute. Let's look up some slang here. I'm looking up the American slang now. That's where we. That's where we are now. Wait, what? The barn burners and hun and hunkers were the two. The names of two opposing factions in the New York State Democratic Party in the mid 19th century. I don't think that that's what they're talking about. I. <laughs> that seems not right. Barn burner, an exciting sports match that is competitive to the very end. That might be it. Barn burner can also refer to an epic and overpowering flatulent explosion that smells so vomitous and full of vile toxic toxic flumes that you swear you could burn down or melt an actual man-made structure. Phew, man alive, what's that horrid stench? Please don't tell me you didn't feed those cows spinach again. <laughs> Barn burner, wiki, from the wiki shenary. Uh an extremely exciting or successful event or person. One who burns down a barn. <laughs> Alright. Or a strike anywhere match. Strike anywhere match. You mean just like like a just like a normal match that you could just sw swipe on anything? Huh. I love that the first one's like slang for like, wow. What a, what, a, what a crazy cool person. And then the second version, it, the second example is literally just what the word means. <laughs> it's just one who burns down a barn. I'm like, I guess. Oh, Dandy, you're so good at making me blush. Anyway, it's nice to meet you, sir. So, you got a name? It's Kiryu. Good to meet you, Kiryu-san. So what's a foreign pro baseball player doing here? I don't like how you said foreign. It's off season right now, so me and Chiemi took a, uh, took a hop over to big old Pacific Pond to kick it with her family. I've been practicing in the cages to keep my game sharp, but I crave more. That's when I saw that killer swing of yours. Yeah. I don't think I'd be much of a match for you if that's what you're getting at. So not true. You got some serious oomph in those biceps. Just gotta give your skills the old spit shine and you'll be golden. Like a golden baseball god. That's a weird compliment to give to not your your boyfriend. How about this? I'll hurl ten balls your way. If you can knock five home runs out of the park, you win. If not, I win. Hmm. If you win, I'll give you a dandy special autograph ball. I don't give out my John Hancock often, so they're super rare. American reference. But if you lose, you gotta pay up to the order of 10,000 yen. High six are gonna kindle the fire of competition real good, so... Little baseball never hurt anyone unless that person needs 10,000 10, yen for uh. tuition. <laughs> Alright, I'll take you on. Little baseball never hurt anybody after all. <laughs> Let's just go to the Wikipedia article on uh, baseball injuries. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Kiryu-san. Let's cha chase our dreams to baseball stardom. Mind asking Yoshida-san if we can borrow the cages for a bit, Chiemi? Not at all. Just give me a sec. That was a similar thing that came up when we were playing 428 Shibuya Scramble. It's like... Duh, they really, they really highlight whatever somebody's foreign. Ah, shit, that was fast. I don't know what his pitches are like. Ah! The timing is weird. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my god! What the fuck? The freedom fastball? What is the timing of these throws? What the- Okay. I'm fucked. <laughs> I'm fucked. More of those, please. God damn, soaring eagle. Oh no, you guys, it's the anime baseball. The anime baseball is happening. Oh. Damn it, I was in the right spot and I did it wrong.
Jesus, I was not ready for the amount of crazy that was going to happen. Ah. Guess I went a little too wild Jackson on you. Sorry about that, curious son. I knew this would happen. <laughs> Deep down inside. Never gonna win with that sour grapes attitude, buddy. That'll be ten grand. Come back when those grapes are a little sweeter, yeah? I want grapes too, Dandy. Oh, maybe... Maybe some Yakiniku. <laughs> Yakiniku? That's... What a, there's just ten grand on the floor. Is that from the fight earlier? That's an amazing coincidence. That's an amazing coincidence that, that just happened. I just, I don't want to hear about anyone's, any of these guys' grapes. We can, we can do this. It was so close. It was so close. I don't have any other bat variants. Here are you, it's time to live the American dream, where he actually attacks with us with American-themed attacks. <clears throat> oh, it was so close. Oh god, so fast. No! No, that was one of my chances of a good, easy hit. I wasted it. Oh my god! What the fuck is that one? Just giving me a goddamn heart attack over here. Ah. Yay. Two. Now I just need to get all three of these in a row. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh. This is so hard. Oh, not even that one. Oh. I did worse. I did- I did twice as worse. Or half as well. Twice as worse, I don't think, is a metric you can use. Doing half as well does not equal to, to, to doing half as well does not equal to uh, equate to doing half as uh, twice as badly because those are like different percentage angles to go with. Do I need a better bat? Oh, that was an easy one. Ah, oh, it's so fast. Oh, come on, brain. Oh. Oh, I mean, I hit it. I can feel better about that. It just doesn't count. Jesus Christ, it's so fast and it's moving. How do you... How do you do that? Like, how do you track it? How do you react in time to move it and still get your timing right on the, on the swing? This is brutal. Holy crap. They, and they put this after the, uh... They put this- they put this after the easy tier. Good thing I have an, an, an insufferable amount of disposable income. <laughs> no. Damn it. I'm probably losing because it's not on the ball. Jesus. Ah.
Oh, come on. <laughs> that was an easy one. No. No. I mean, this guy's kind of just being a dick for doing all of these variations of throws. Like, he knows he's the asshole here, right? <laughs> like, it's not just like, let's see if you can hit him. It's like, he's doing like 15 variations of mega anime throws. It's like, Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> Somebody wants to look really cool in front of his girlfriend. I think five and ten are both American Dream, and three is the fastball. The one that's too fast, I mean. Not, not just a normal fastball. That would mean that during three, five, and ten, I don't have to worry about it moving, if I'm right. Because American Dream recenters on where it's where on where it came from, and that one always just slides slightly. Ah. Uh. Ah. That doesn't mean. But knowing stuff doesn't mean I'm gonna be able to do it. <laughs> ah. I think two and six are fastballs. I think, yeah, seven's a soaring eagle. There's a pattern. There we go. The first one, the first one's a slider. Second one's a fastball. Third one's the super fastball. Other ones, I remember less. If I if I can predict what a bunch of them are, then we then we're good. And I might be right about that. I might finally win this thing. I've been going at this way longer than I thought I would be. I almost got it early on. No, don't fuck up the timing. We're solving this, and you're fucking it up. This one's a fast one. No! Come on. No point in solving these if I can't then do the timing after I know what's gonna happen. Damn it! Yeah, one and one and six are both sliders. I think, yeah, I think two and two and seven are fastballs. That's soaring eagle. Eight is soaring eagle. I think I said seven before, but I meant that one. Nope, that's a slider or a shoot ball, I guess. Really? Am I am I like mentally degrading? Am I like, am I mentally degrading right now? Where like, like I just can't do this anymore? I, I swear to God, like I, I can't do the timing now, now that I'm solving it. I'm figuring out what the, what the, th what the throws are, but I'm like, melting. No, oh, he went that way. Come on. Yes. This one's gonna slide. Yes. Oh, we don't even keep going? 
I wanted to see how high I could get. I felt like this is my chosen moment where I'm gonna get like eight of them, and I didn't get to have that. I was out of this world, curious, huh? <laughs> so incredible. I'm honestly surprised myself. I guess anything is possible if you put your mind to it. <laughs> I knew you had it in you. In you, I knew I, I knew you had it in you, curious, son. Here's your reward: the dandy special. It's my first name scrawled on the front. Enjoy. Signed, Bob. Bob. Your name's Bob. This isn't the. This isn't the peak for you, though. I want to see you reach the highest point you can match me, blow for blow. It's advice time, baby. Jimmy, go. Mm. Huh? Uh. Okay. Jimmy's the batting coach for my team. She's like a goddess with the bat in her hands. Let me tell you. He's your coach? <laughs> oh, dandy. I'm not a goddess. Anyway, let's begin, Kiryu san. Guess you can't judge a book by its cover. Because she's a woman? Is that what we're going for? <laughs> It's a weird... Okay. You mean the woman is good at baseball, too? Crazy. Thanks, Chiemi. That should help me get even more power out of my swing. <laughs> you really are a fast learner, Kiryu-san. It's incredible watching you work. Yeah, he's a fast learner. He and Majima learned two fighting styles by seeing somebody use them for a second. <laughs> I'll be back for revenge someday. Keep your game sharp till then, Kiryu-san. <laughs> Looking forward to it. And don't worry, I'll be ready. Mm. Gonna hold you to that. Anyway, we got a fight, a flight to catch. Nothing but love for you, man. Bye bye An American Major Leaguer and his wife, the batting coach. I guess all's well that ends well. What? What does that mean? All's well that ends well. Oh, you're talking about how there's like an in, like an like a inter-office romance essentially like they work at the same place and they're in a relationship to it with each other I that's maybe what he means otherwise I'm like that's a weird phrase to use in this context huh oh 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 I bet I never eat there <laughs> I didn't even recognize that as being a restaurant just now Oh, but it's the same rest. It's the same as the other place, so it's like doesn't matter. We I'll eat the entire restaurant in one go. Anyway, there's actually a waste, isn't it? Combos, two combos. Not very much green though. I really, I really should save up for. I really, I really need to make a point to always go to the better places. There's like straight up like fast food type places that are like they fill you up, but they don't give you the points. It's like this game is making some kind of comment or something.